Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. It is Joy Toy Warhammer 40k time again. Ba -boing. This came this morning. I don't know why it didn't come with the uh, with the Blood Angels uh, Lieutenant Tolmeron the other day, but no, this came the day after or so. So here we have Imperial Fist, as you can see, veteran brother. Is it Th Thracius, maybe? Or Thracius or Thracius? Who knows? Um, looks pretty cool i love the look of that mod it just looks so nice and having that sort of open hand there really adds to the dynamic of the uh, pose on the back we see what he comes with again this will be body 2.0 uh nothing new really in terms of accessories head is different having that white head there with like the roman laurels almost on it um but we saw Body 2.0 with the Blood Angels guy. This one should be the same, but maybe I'll take a closer look and see what other differences there are. So it says it's going to be 12 centimeters tall. That will be to the top of his head, to the top of that sort of a, whatever this is, the halo thing, or probably about 14 cm like the other figure I reviewed the other day. Okay, so let me open him up, set him, set him up, and let's see what he's about back in an instant. Okay, here he is with everything he comes with, including his card. I'll show the card first. Nice artwork on the front. I'll turn it around, and if you can read Chinese, or know someone who reads Chinese, maybe they can translate for you, or you can read it if you speak Chinese. You get to see my beautiful reflection in the plastic too, you lucky boys and girls. Just pause that. Okay, let's take a close look at the accessories first. Gun we've seen already. Nothing new with this. Pretty cool. Head is new, the unhelmeted head. It's got some nice detailing on that. I love that sort of scar. It's a very serious looking chap. That is for sure. It's got a bit of a hearing aid in there. What's that sort of jetpack on the back of his head? Uh, I'm being silly. Um, but not quite nice. Not as good as the Blood Angels. Is it Tolmeron? I thought his one was really good. Same hands we saw with the Blood Angels Tolmeron. So we've seen these uh, before already. So we have the two fingers. We have the fist. We have another gripping hand. And the open hand we saw on the box, which is quite atmospheric with the sword. And then we have the uh, empty holster. The holstered pistol I've stuck on his back. So we'll take a close look at him now and we'll see that as well. So shield we've seen before. Very, very nice looking shield, I have to say. Love the darkening of the yellow around the edge. It looks really good. I just push that down. Very nice on the cuts on these, but really these were all cut, not just that center. It looked better. Good inking on the uh, emblem on the chest there. Face, the head looks pretty cool. Sword is not new, we've seen that before. Again, nice shading work on the round the edges, that darker yellow, dark brown. There's the gun on the back, where it can fit. Again, the shading is superb, and it's really, really nice. It is an all-round nice-looking figure, but I just wish they'd cut all of these, make them separate. That would have been even better. But it does look good. Shield we've seen before, as I said, nice, very sturdy. This is the same sword, I believe, we saw with Tolmeron. Oh, a bit different. He's got two here and one. So it's a little bit different to Tolmeron's, but similar. And then the figure, again, is body two. Gun just dropped off. And we'll look at that articulation now. Okay, let's have a quick look first. So, articulation. We know at the top, you can turn the whatever the halo is. You can turn the nozzles. Arms go all the way around. Now, as I said with Tolmeron, these are now attached not by a um, by what a little peg. Now they are attached by a little loop that goes over. I would have preferred a peg that attached lower down on the arm, because that would not have impeded articulation as much as much. We see we've got a little part inside which does move forwards and backwards which helps with articulation too. You see it quite a lot in the other video I did the other day. And now it doesn't, doesn't want to push in. There we go. So to the side, it doesn't go particularly far. and It will pop out, which is like, really? So that's not great. 
uh, bicep, you get the angle right so nothing's impeding it, and you get a fantastic bicep bend. Look at that. He can almost pick his nose if he had his unhealthy head. It's a booger for the emperor, or for Noogle maybe, though he's not obviously Noogle. Um, so good on the bend there, very good articulation there. I think the hands are different and the wrist because there's a lot more motion than previously. In fact, you can see there's a bigger gap. Can we get a little focus in there? Let me get a little, shine a bit of light on it. You can see there's a bigger gap there, which means you get a lot more space and moving. So there's much better movement on the hands than previously on the wrists. Um, trunk. His trunk did not want to move at all. Okay, now it's moving. Good forwards, backwards, tiny side to side, smaller turn. They can turn from the waist and forwards, backwards and side to side. So combined waist and trunk, forwards is all right. Backwards is going to be phenomenal. Look at that. That is really good. Side to side is good as well. And turning is going to be great as well. Hips. Thus far, and sculpting gets in the way, which is a shame. Forwards is decent. Backwards is not is pretty damn good, to be fair. Thigh swivel. Double kneecap. Chunky legs, but look how tight that is. But you get an ugly looking kneecap. There is a boot turn, which is not bad. There is a swivel, which is small, but okay. Make sure you get the... Uh, nah! Make sure you get the feet in. Make sure you get the uh, foot under the armour for the tippy toe. And it's pretty decent, but you can see the gap again. And again, the armour underneath the uh, shin armour for the dorsiflexation, which is tiny on this. And then you've also got very nice toe articulation. So I think the body is better, but I'm not digging the shoulders. But that wrist articulation is far more improving. Also, you, you should have seen with the other video that he should be able to get his arms really quite, look at that, really close to his chest there because where that pops out there. So that is really good for holding two-handed weapons. That is amazing. Almost touching, almost get, if he had a smaller forearm, he'd get flat to his chest. So that is really, really good. Let's push him back over here. Let's get a focus going on. So let's just confirm the size. Should be 12 and 14 cm. So to the top of his head, we're looking at yeah, around 12. And to the top of the halo is around 14 and a half, 15. So size is good. He is a nice figure. Uh, if I compare him to a stat, must I say standard, a modern 118 scales, my custom Nurino Sentinel from Aceram, who's phenomenal. And you see towels above him. If I compare him to a, let me take my ZYG, who I love, and I've put the scientist's legs on him from Fortnite, towels above him. And if I use a Generation 1 body, which I'll keep using, the uh, Invicta Warsuit Pilot, you can see he is taller than the Invicta Warsuit Pilot as well, but he has got much more chunky armour on. He is a good figure. I actually prefer him to the Blood Angels, and I think... The Blood Angels one, there was differences on the forearms, as I recall, that uh, impeded articulation. You couldn't get quite the bicep bend as this guy does. And this guy's joints are simply better, even though it's the same body type. Great figure. Great job by Georgia on this. I am looking forward to more of these. I've got more things on order and more things coming soon. So please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you want to see stuff early, and exclusive extra content and news, please join the Patreon link in the top right of your screen now. Great figure, great all-round articulation with the exception of the shoulders, good accessories with this fantastic shield. Nice sword. I do recommend this one. Okay, awesome National Voice signing out, saying please like, share, subscribe, smash that notification icon, and keep collecting and stay happy. Bye-bye.